Leave it 5 one turn right heading 183. Transportation these days can now be a rather underappreciated topic to cover, paired with the 737 MAX crisis and also really other stories surrounding engine delays and more, it's not been covered as much here on the channel. However, in the past day, the Airbus Beluga XL gained its European Union Aviation Safety Agency, or more commonly referred to as EASA type certification. By acquiring this certification, the aircraft can now finally enter transportation service. Through introducing the Beluga XL, Airbus can now offer 30% extra transport capacity in various aircraft programs it has already started running. However, with one entering service now being certified in 2020, it doesn't just stop there. In fact, Airbus will welcome on additional aircraft from now through to 2023. The exact amount is quoted at being 5. The Beluga XL is the successor to the already existing Beluga ST. However, that was also known as the A330 600 ST, with the ST standing for a super transporter. You can imagine why simplifying it to Beluga ST was a lot easier for me and many others to say. With the Beluga XL entering service right now, it will mean that the XL and the ST will work hand in hand for some time before eventually the older Beluga STs are completely phased out in favour of the new XL variant. So, a Beluga, essentially a flying whale. What's its actual purpose, you may be asking? Well, much like the Dreamlifter with Boeing and some other cargo transporters, the Beluga XL will be used throughout Europe, mainly moving sections of future Airbus aircraft around to different production sites. Airbus has bases and production sites across all of Europe, with the most famous one being Toulouse at the moment. However, they also have one in Hamburg, and have also been quoted saying that they will see it fly out of multiple other destinations. In the Airbus press release, they mention just a few of the benefits the Jets has over the Beluga ST. The Beluga XL can carry two A350 XWB wings compared to the Beluga ST, which can carry only one. With a maximum payload of 51 tonnes, the Beluga XL has a range of 4,000 kilometres. In addition with being the newer version, like all aircraft, it also has modern and updated controls and features which will benefit pilots and of course, operator Airbus. In their press release, they further went on to say the Beluga XL is the latest addition to Airbus's transportation portfolio. While air transport remains the primary for transporting large aircraft components, Airbus also uses road, rail and sea transport to move parts between its production sites. While the Beluga XL may be ready now, its road to eventual certification was certainly not the smoothest thing in history. In fact, it was deemed some seven years ago in 2013 that the future of the Belugas were actually concerning. Airbus realised very quickly that demand for their jets were growing, and they couldn't handle that demand. That's when a new Beluga was indeed explored. However, as the years progressed, freezes came into effect on the design and more, and it took some time for it to finally be announced that the plan would indeed be going ahead. Some years later, lots of testing, lots of test flights, and a whole lot more. We sit here today with the first Beluga XL in service and ready to finally operate. What are your thoughts on the Beluga XL? Do you prefer this to the previous one? In my opinion, I think it looks a lot better. Although, to begin with, the design is incredibly unique, just like the Boeing Dreamlifter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.